Okay, uh, from that last video, I was unsure about uploading into GitHub because I thought I would be overwriting my original file. But when I go and have a look at GitHub, I've actually created a new directory up there. So from Visual Studio, I actually created a new directory on GitHub. So, uh, so and that directory at the moment just has the README and the git ignore files in them. Uh, let's go have a look at our uh, Visual Studio. There's the README and the git ignore is sitting up here. All right, the rest of my files are there. So I should now do the upload. So let's go home. Uh, sorry, that's, let's go to Team Explorer and home. Uh, by the way, I did check my settings, uh, so I think I did that in the last video. All right, let's check for changes, and we have changes to all of these things. None of these images are already up there, and none of these HTML files are up there. Nothing is there. So we're going to do version 7 upload, and let's commit all and sync. And we'll cross our fingers and see whether this looks like it's happening. So it's pushing all of those files to the current branch. It probably doesn't need to pull anything down because we just, when we created the file, it pulled those images down then. All right, let's go have a look at our overall index and our version 7 file which is also called index version 7 all right let's go have a look at github and you can see there's only two there let's refresh and here they all are okay now at the moment I can't see that as a hosted site on the web um, let me get rid of that there clean that up uh, let's go have a look at our page from um, here. Now, what I've done is I created a new line here in our addresses, and I've put up the actual um, the site that we can see. So that address there takes us to this site here, which now has all of those files. All right, what I want to do now is create an actual website. So I'm going to go over here to settings and uh, come down to GitHub pages. Um, so pages is really the, the hosting. Uh, it's currently disabled. We don't need to choose a theme, but we are going to say our master branch is going to be hosted. So that flicks us back up to the top. We scroll down again, and there's the address. Let's copy that and put that into our addresses here. Paste. Yep, it's. I don't really need to have that. All right, I think that full stop is not necessary. All right, let's go and see now it often takes quite a while ah it's working straight away if you don't see this website come up straight away um, it does it, sometimes it's taken over half an hour before it becomes live but this is working straight away version 7 uh, and there is version 7 running okay so let's make some changes now uh, actually let's go have a look so also my logbook now, plenty of issues today. I documented that first video here, and I've written some notes about how things didn't actually go as I expected. I, I thought I'd be overwriting my new file. That's not the case because I created a whole new uh, repository, and uh, there's the address to the repository. So I've explained what's happened today. I'm now making a new video. So I'm doing another uh, log entry and I will, uh, so now we've just uploaded changed uh, version 07, no issues. All right, let's go make some changes. Now, 
uh, here's our lesson today. We are doing version 7. So version 7, we have downloaded version 7. Uh, before working on this page, uh, the CSS file is moved to the top of the header. Okay, so we have to go through this steadily. There's the CSS. Let's go have a look and see what the CSS we have on ours is. Um, the CSS for here is here, game board. What's this CSS? Start, um, yeah, that's the one to stop us getting the train lines. And then down here, that's the end of the CSS. CSS is between the two style tags. So all of that there is CSS. Now those who know what they're doing can put CSS in a separate file and call it. Um, but otherwise, just leave it there. So that should be the same as this here. It looks pretty much the same to me. All right. Um, we also want to add another grid, grid 4. Let's see how many grids that we've got here. Um, we have got grid 4, and that grid 4 is a whole lot of numbers for testing. I'm going to just, let me run that file again. Uh, we are running the fourth grid, which is that testing grid. Let's run a different grid and we'll upload the changes and we see if we get that change. So let's, instead of loading grid 4, let's load grid 1. Control S. Now, if I want to look at that locally, I can go to here. Where am I? Uh, I think I am here. Binary parts. Yeah. And that file, version 7, has just been changed this minute. Okay. So uh, what I'm going to do is run the index file from here. Look at version 7. And version 7 no longer runs um, the grid 4. It's now running grid 1. Okay, let's go and have a look at those changes because we want to upload those changes to our main site. So we go home. What changes do we have? Ah, we have just a change in the version 7 file. Okay, so we've changed version 7 changed to grid one one okay uh, commit all on sync now just before I do I'm going to go back here and make sure that so that one is local C users right this one here is online oh, no hang on I may have I think I've got a whole lot of things open here let's uh, all right, version 6. Here we go. So this one here is loading grid 4. All right, so I'm just going to refresh that and still loading grid 4. All right, let's go here. Let's commit all and sync. Um, and it's pushing the current change. There it goes. It looks like it's successful. Let's go back to here and let's refresh. No change yet. No change yet. Let's go to the um, main page. Backspace. And the main page. Oh, I should have. Right. Let's go from here. Main page. Still not right. There's my link back to the home page there. So. Um, still, we cannot see the change here. Uh, I wonder why that is. Um, I need to let me run from WIS and make sure that it's working here. Oh, sometimes, yeah, if you have not run WIS here, we do need to add this web conf config file. So that's okay. Um, and there we are running grid one okay that's running on localhost 
All right, so we've got lots of ways to run this file. Um, up live. Yeah, there we go. So it just took a while for the change to actually get through. So this is our live file on GitHub. You notice that I refreshed a few minutes ago. It did not do the update. Now when I refresh, it does do the update. All right, let's go have a look at the actual uh, repository. So git. I'm going to go here. This is the one that I've just done. Um, and let's have a look at the commits. We now have three commits. Well, our first commit was when we initially made the site 44 minutes ago. Then we did the version 7 upload where we uploaded virtually every single file. Then we just did another upload here and I said I changed to the grid one. Let's go have a look at that. Let's have a look at the code. This is the old code in pink and the new code in green. And you can see that I have changed that G4 to G1. So there's my version control working there really well. Okay, so my plan for you guys is to check your versions each day. And the only way I can check is what you've got actually up on GitHub here and from these addresses. Now I went through and I checked, we've got quite a few students who've already got theirs up, um, but I had a look and checked most of those last night and you are not up to version six or version seven. You're still on the single file version. So I would urge you all to run through these two videos and update your latest changes. Now I have not followed through with the version 7 changes for today. Um, uh, so it looks like today we want to add those two extra text boxes and copy and paste from the original text boxes. So for me if I was doing that I would uh, let's stop that. I would go let's put that nice and small over here go back to my solution explorer version 7 I can duplicate this and make a version 8 can I do copy paste let's just see if I can do copy paste here ah yes I can all right and let's make this version 8 rename version 08 version 08 enter now I will probably need to put a version 8 on my index okay so here's version 7 I would need to create a new line here copy I tended to copy and paste all the time uh, paste this is going to be version 8 um, version 08 and I need to change that link that link is going to go to a file which is not there yet where am i version 8 is going to go uh, right version 7 index version 7 all right href all right i want that to reference version 8 online control s Okay, and then we are going to change the text here. Um, I'm not sure version 8. I'm going to write here unfinished. Control S. And there we see our unfinished here. All right, we've got a couple of changes now. We can upload those again to GitHub. Um, that version 8 at this stage is identical. I might go back to version 7 and I might put that back to G4. Control S. Version 8 is going to stay on um, grid 1. Script. Uh, go down to the HTML. And version 8 is still on grid 1. Okay. So we've got a difference now. All right. Let's upload this to github get the routine going uh, home we should see changes now in 
Yes, version 7 there's a change, version 8 there's a change, HTML there's a change, and the web config, which we added a minute ago. They're all the changes. So we've now created version 8, version, sorry, version 08 created. Um, minor changes. Okay, let's commit all and sync. And they are going up there. While that's going up, I can check locally. So here's my version 8. It's running on grid 1. Uh, here's my version 7. It's running on grid 4. And here's my index. And it's now got version 8 here. Let's see if it works. It's working. Uh, it's No, it's not working. It's taken me to version 7. Oh, no, it's taken me to version 8. All right, so I need to change the text on my page so that my text actually says version 8 on that page. So I can see that I've got an error there. All right, let's see if it's going to fix online. Uh, let's go to the binary puzzle which is online that's local that's local this is github okay that's local this one here is online all right now if i refresh this this should go back to um, grid 4 and it does okay let's go home and we now have got version 8 let's go to version 8 Version 8 is incorrect because it's saying version 7 and it should say version 8, but it's loading grid 1. Okay, so everything online is working. So that's our routine. I'm hoping students can get to that point.